Hey everyone, it is Vinny again with a video with the CRJ700 from Aerosoft. As you know, I was gone for four days flying the actual aircraft, and uh, I'm back today. So, I promised you guys I was going to do a video, and here we are. Now, I received quite a bit of feedback from my last video, and I really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much. And um, I also received quite a bit of complaints about one actual um, system in this aircraft. Um, and I actually, before we start doing anything, w we need to, you know, get this going. We need to fix this. So, that system is actually the initial reference system. People are having problems it's saying it's taking too long with basically they're just giving me a lot of you know it's taking too long it's doing this it's doing that okay let's let's see how it performs in regards to the actual aircraft so what I did was I yesterday I took a video of the airplane I was flying I recorded you know before I started doing anything turn on the airplane I, I recorded the alignment and now um, I'm going to compare that to the CRJ from Aerosoft. Um, let's see how it goes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my status page up here, my PFD here, okay, and then my MF, MF, uh, <laughs> my FMS here. I'm sorry guys, I'm tired. Um, I actually flew about six hours in the airplane today in the actual thing so it's been a long day so we have that going so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the battery okay and remember ED1 and ED2 should come up okay and then we should check the electrical and see that there's 24 volts at least available and we have 27 good okay now I have my little clock going on here okay make sure it's zeroed out and now remember the limitation of the five minutes in the meantime I want you guys to pay attention real quick here we don't have that much time the IRS panel is down here I need this on nav okay nav mode will give you attitude and position okay where ATT or in other words attitude um, setting will give you the attitude just pitch and bank Okay, that's that's basically what it is. You know, like if you fly a G1000, it's your A-Hearts. That's what it will give you. With NAV, it will give you attitude and position. So the aircraft will know, hey guys, look, I'm here. You know, I'm so many miles from Chicago, so many miles from D.C. You know, so that's what the, the NAV will do. So it will give you two. Remember, it's down here by the parking brake. Now, on some, you know, Boeing, Airbus, I think that they have it above. I don't fly those guys, you know. I do have, like, 15 hours on an A320 um, level D sim. So, but anyways, let's get to business. Um, so, my status page is here, okay. PFD is right here. And I'm going to turn on the APU. Now, guys, when you turn on the APU... Do one, wait for the APU invite to, to go through, and then two, okay? Or maybe not. Let's do that one more time. It was actually going there. Um, so one. The APU in by and this to start. What the heck? This to start. Okay, I 
I guess my button's clicking. I'm, I'm not that great with that. Okay, don't worry. I'm a better pilot. <laughs> okay. So, remember when the APU comes up, everything's going to lit up, and I'm going to start the time. Okay. And let's see how long this is going to take. 100%, there we go. Remember, look, look what it says here. ATT and heading aligning. Do not taxi. Okay. Now, in the actual aircraft, you see this little bubble here, this little green bubble? It will be going from left to right, like basically in a 360, going crazy. Okay. On my airline, for example, too, we will have to also put in our airport. Okay. So we could get our uh, position. And then we'll put it right here, okay? Um, if now one thing with that, okay? If you, how do you know that you know you are where you are? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your Jefferson, okay? And you're gonna look at your Latin longs, okay? And if you are within 40 miles of your airport, you know of your position, you're good to go, okay? So don't worry about that. But for every single flight, okay, before each flight, okay, you have to make sure that you are within, you know, with those parameters, 40 nautical miles, okay? So now we are coming on on a minute and four seconds, actually, um, 10 seconds now. So we're waiting and see what's going on, okay? It still says ATT heading aligning, do not taxi. I'm not taxi, I'm not moving the airplane. At this point, you know, in the in real life, we will be getting our clearances. You know, we will be getting our weather, and you you will see what I mean. Actually, um, um, actually, it depends. You know, if, if if the person next to you is helping, if not, things go by kind of quickly. Um, so, a minute and forty. Minute and forty. Let's see what's going on here. Um, also, guys, with the APU, I have a nice little video I'm going to put together just like I'm doing with this, showing you the sequence of the APU um, starting and comparing it to the Aerosoft um, CRJ. Um, and so, so you guys can see, okay? And again, if you have any questions, just write below or email me, you know, just like some of you guys did email me and you know we're I'll answer your questions um I just want to give a shout out to Aerosoft over the you know at the, in the forums you guys are just awesome I love you guys over there um coming up on two minutes and 25 seconds and nothing yet okay you guys will get a big surprise here um Another thing too guys, if by 5 minutes this is not on, I'm just going to close the video and um, I'll let you guys know, know what happened in a separate video, but I will still include the, the actual footage from the airplane, just so you guys can see, because it's, it's never, it never takes more than 5 minutes. Uh, for me, at least in the airplane, it has never taken me more than five minutes. Um, so we'll see. Coming up on three minutes now. Okay, and nothing. Remember your settings down low. Should be good to go. Now you see all these um, flight director, glide slope, and all of that. Those those uh, those flags. Those are normal. Um, so don't, you know, if you see that, don't think that your system is, is all jacked up or anything, so don't worry about that. Just want to make sure one thing. Okay. Okay, also the eyes. That is actually a glitch. That is very rare that we get that on the ground, by the way. Very rare. I think in the last... What? 
year or so. Seen it maybe like once or, tw or twice. So, okay, coming up now on eight minute question now, four minutes, four minutes and 15 seconds here, and nothing. So let's see what's going on here. Maybe this is also a good um hopefully you know this 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 will help people out and, and understand what's going on. Now I personally this is the first time also I turn it on and see what's going on with this. Um like I told you I just got back in today. So I hadn't been able you know, I haven't been able to play around. I normally just cold start it, you know, and then just kind of do my little thing and quick align it. But the re a realistic alignment is taking way too long, I'll tell you that right now. Um, coming up on five minutes now, there's the five minutes. I'm kind of curious where this is going to go, actually, I was going to say I was going to shut the video down, but let's see maybe what's going on here. Okay. And the sim is running, everything is good to go. I wonder what's going on. My position is set. And yeah, it shouldn't even. The FMS already has a position in this, so it should have taken it. So. Five minutes and forty five seconds. Hmm. Okay, well, that is six minutes and it's still not a line. So at this point, I'm going to stop the video and then. Um, just show you guys the real stuff. Um, yeah, this is way too long. Okay, everyone, so it took, it took 9 minutes and 12 seconds for the alignment to be complete. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the actual footage from the airplane that um, I flew. So... You'll be a little surprised, but just, you know, we'll, we'll figure this out, I guess. So, anyways, here's the footage, and once again, guys, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or anything, just email me below. Um, until next video, take care now.
Okay guys, as you can see this is how long it's taking to get the um, aircraft aligned. Not as long as the one in Prepare 3D, but there we go, it took about a minute and 10 seconds. Okay, thank you for watching.